Hi everyone. In the last video, we have seen how to derive the characteristic equation of separately excited DC motor. In this video, we will see how to derive the characteristic equation of self-excited shunt DC motor. So, what is the meaning of self-excited? If we remember last time, we can see here that the field winding is supplied from a separate DC supply and also the armature winding is supplied from other DC supply. Here in self-excited DC motor, we can see that both windings are supplied from the same DC supply. This means that we don't have much of control to control the current flowing through the field winding. So how to derive this uh, characteristic equation? First of all, we can apply Kirchhoff current law. It says that the total current I equals the armature current plus the field current. So for this node, this is the input I equals IA and IF because the sum here should be zero and also we can see that here is the same node this means that the voltage here is also VA so it is easy now for calculating IF because by applying Ohm's law IF equals VA over RF don't forget that in separately excited DC motor IF was equal to VF over RF. Here is VA over RF. Now we can say here for this loop, let's take this loop here. And this is IA. By applying Kirchhoff voltage law, we can say that VA equals back EMF plus RAIA. Now let's recall the two important equations. The first one, EA equals T phi omega because here we have a shaft and rotating by omega and also there is a torque here and this torque equals q phi i a which means that i a equals t over q phi so by Substituting, uh, let's say here, this is uh, 1, this is equation number 2, this is number 3, number 4, number 5, and number 6. So, by substituting 4 and 6 in 3 we can say that VA equals key phi omega plus RA T over key phi we will have the same equation that has been obtained before, which is omega equals VA 
over k phi minus r a t over k phi square. So, what is the difference here? If we get the same equation, first of all, let's recall this relation that k phi equals d i f because phi is proportional to i f. So omega will equal v a over d i f minus r a t over d i f square and also we will get the same equation that has been obtained in separately excited DC motor so again what is the difference between this motor and the previous motor from equation 2 we can say here the difference is this thing if equals vf over rf in separately excited dc motor while here equals va over rf self excited shunt dc motor because both field winding and armature winding are supplied from the same DC source so the difference here if we expand it more then we have to use this one because before we used VF over RF for separately excited DC motor here we will use VA over RF so Omega will equal to VA over D VA over RF minus RA T over D VA over RF square so VA with VA will go RF will go to the numerator and also Rf square will go to the numerator therefore Omega equals Rf over D minus Ra Rf square T over D V A square and this is the difference here so we have this in your characteristic equation thank you so much and we will see you in the next video goodbye